What is up guys? Welcome to another wrestling video and today we are going to be going to Monday Night Raw in Kansas City. I'm currently going by myself because my fiance wasn't feeling too good but hey it's it's Kansas City you know it's it's only like about a two and a half hour drive and and I could not pass up the opportunity. Uh, we are going to be on the floor and I've never been on the floor for a wrestling show before so I'm super excited about that. I am rocking the Let Me In Alexa Bliss and Fiend shirt. I was super disappointed that uh, Jeff Hardy tested positive for COVID-19. He was the one that I was actually like really buying the ticket to go see. Um, him and Cena, I guess. So, uh, and Cena should be there, which is awesome. But yeah, I'm, I'm wearing, hopefully we get to see Alexa Bliss as well. So I'm wearing that shirt. I'm also, uh, I'm also taking my Fiend, uh, replica belt with me which um which is which is cool and i'm wearing the same let me in hat that you guys are so used to seeing so uh yeah we're just about to get on the road and um yeah we'll, we'll i don't know if i'm gonna stop very much i'm trying to, i'm trying to limit my stops on this one so uh yeah i will see you guys once we get there Alright guys, so the drive is over. I am finally here in Kansas City. Got to my parking place. Um, the doors open at 5 and so I've got a decent amount of time. So there, it is a, a small walk um, to the arena, but I think it should be fine. Um, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and rest after driving for that long <laughs> for a, you know for a little bit. But after that. Um, yeah, we'll get some shots of what the downtown area looks like. It is really cool. So see you guys there. All right, guys, we are at our seats and holy crap. This is my first time sitting on, oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. It was so hot outside. It's like 90 degrees outside. And um, <laughs> yeah, we were waiting out there and oh my gosh, it was so bad. But man, I'm here. A lot of people liked uh, my Fiend replica belt. There have been so many people that have been uh, uh, really complimentary of it. So uh, I really can't believe I'm here. This is an insane, insane seat. I'm definitely gonna end up on TV. So let me just show you that real insane, literally insane. I think this is like the closest I've ever been for anything. I went to a KU game one time and was pretty close, but never this close. And so I will come back and film some of my reaction because I didn't really go any spots. I just kind of came up here. I'm going to go back right after. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited to be here. It's so awesome. So... <laughs> really really funny people in the crowd but um yeah so i will record some of my reactions i'll try to record some of the entrances but they might shoot me down on that so yeah see you guys soon
All right, so we are out of raw. And oh my gosh, I'm covering up the screen. And we are heading back to the car. It was a pretty fun raw. I, I wouldn't say it was the, the, the best one I've seen, but it was pretty fun. Got to see uh, uh, John Cena in the dark match, which I should be posted by the time this video is posted. But uh, yeah, I'll head back to the car and kind of talk about my thoughts on it. See you then. All right, guys, I am back in my car and I chose to buy a cheap parking spot. So I just, I did have to walk a little bit. So I am a little bit sweaty, but um, yeah, pretty decent raw overall. Um, I had, I had a lot of fun because the seats were really good, um, but it was cool seeing AJ Styles and Omos. They're always an excellent, um, excellent entertainers. Um, obviously Nikki Ash kind of went in uh, and you know, celebrated her championship win, which was great. I'm starting to really get into that storyline. I'm really okay with it. Um, I, I think I think it's blossoming into something really interesting. I was really interested in it tonight, so I think that has promise. Um, I was a little upset, obviously, that Jeff Hardy had COVID because, but I mean, I figured if he did get here, he was probably just going to do what happened to Keith Lee and get choked out. So maybe it was a good thing that he didn't come so I didn't have to see him get choked out. Bobby Lashley destroyed the Hurt Business. That was pretty cool. Just have them come back. And he basically just annihilated them in a handicap match. Um, John Morrison is always an awesome performer to watch 100% of the time. Um, I was sad that we didn't actually get to see Alexa Bliss. We didn't get to see a playground or Alexa Bliss in person. We just got to see a vignette of Lily, which was disappointing. Um, but, you know, it's okay. The Charlotte Flair, Nikki Ash match was pretty good. Um... I mean, it looked like Charlotte was going to squash, but she pulls out the victory at the last second. And I mean, it was fine, you know, pretty good main event, but it was really fun watching the dark match, which was Mace and T-Bar versus Riddle and John Cena. And I am going to uh, link that here right now so you guys can go watch that. It should be posted on my channel um, before this video. So uh, yeah, go ahead and check that one out. And it, it is a pretty fun match. Like they, they basically teased Cena getting in really slowly and he didn't wrestle for but like a minute or two, but still it was fun to see him back in the ring and moving around and everything. But uh, yeah, so that was really about it for Raw. Um, it was a fun watch again, just sitting on the floor is really fun and, and feeling the energy is really fun. And uh, yeah, the next show I'm planning on going to, I'm going to a SmackDown in Tulsa here next month or so. And I think that's probably good because I think I've had enough WWE live shows I can take for <laughs> for the foreseeable future and, until that time. So yeah, um, that's about it. Thanks for joining us on our second road trip vlog where we go to Raw in Kansas City, Missouri. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.